here we are, Oceano. Um, what's new? What's what's going on? I think uh, everything is new, like okay. al like always. Uh, like that. Every every uh, new menu is a new chapter. Every uh, year it's a new shadow in a way um, because we are in constant motion. Let's yeah. say that and. And the way we drive and the way we do our channel, it's always uh, trying to be in motion as well, reinventing ourselves and, and being able to surprise our guests constantly. Like where where do you get your inspiration from? Is it travel? Is it is it other restaurants? I don't want to say that, but you know, like where, where does it come from? It, it can come a memory, trying to capture an emotion on, on time. Usually when I go in a country or somewhere, I try to um, target my feelings and understand why I have a feeling. And then I, I try to transcribe it uh, through food. The product we use must be excellent. Mm -hmm. The origin must be supposed to be clean and uh, um, the dish should be exceptional. Let's talk about this dish. Yes. Tell me about it. So uh, our menu is called uh, Escal um, and um, one of the uh, Escal that we're gonna have, one of the stopover will be in Japan. So here we have beautiful shrimp, uh, uh, sakurai becoming from uh, Japan. We have some daikon on the top, so Japanese radish, some uh, um, puffed rice, a bit of dry miso, and a bit of fresh yuzu beyond the season. I'm gonna dig in. Yes, and the sauce <laughs> is made with a white soy sauce and yuzu, but it's not done. And here, basically, we took all the shells and all the, um, uh, the head of the shrimp, and for a small bottle like that, we use approximately two to three kg of it. Wow. And this is an essence of it. Okay. So basically, we've been using the, the whole animal, right? And this will be coming on your Thank plate. You. And you will see that this will make the whole difference. Okay, so yeah, it's like you said, the the, the shrimp is really, really silky. Mm. Um, and then obviously there's uh, the texture from the, from the rice mm. and then the kind of the, the bottom brings it all together. So The sauce yeah, also, you see this uh, essence of shrimp really give this uh, shrimpy flavor that mm -hmm. goes with the acidity of the yuzu. I want to talk about Michelin. Uh, Michelin came into Dubai around two years ago. Do you think it changed the dining scene? Do you think the dining scene was already there or has it kind of propelled people to, to work harder, to, to do more, to, to be more out there in, in their cuisines? I think it was, it, it just opened the door. Okay. Or it, it opened the window mm -hmm. to look inside the house. Okay. And basically it gave a kind of, um, um, yeah, it showcased the region that was to me ready already to get Michelin in. But we see that the demographic changed a lot. We have a lot of people traveling essentially for, for food. That's amazing, yeah. Actually, to put Dubai on the, the culinary map like yes. that. Yes, uh, here a taste of Morocco. Let's, let's talk about this one. Yeah, uh, yeah, this is a me. dish and this is a taste of, uh, of, of Morocco. Um, okay. And that's the story. Um, it's made out of saffron, mussels, pomme souffle for the, mm -hmm. the French uh, techniques. You can smell the saffron, like literally it yes. straight off the plate. So. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you must like saffron. Oh, I mean, I do. This I dish do. is not for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's beautiful. And what are these like little balls here? Which one? This one. Ah, it's the pomme souffle. Ah, okay. So okay. it's this very famous technique where you puff a potato, basically. Okay. Yeah, it brings the texture. I know you're right, the fish is super flaky. Yeah. Very light, but the, the saffron really like comes through. It brings everything together. So this is the Mont Blanc, Mont Blanc, very okay. classic yeah. dessert from France, uh, made out of chestnut. Here we have some uh, modern vinaigrette, modern sorbet, a chestnut mousse, a bit of praline of almond inside. Uh, some rum gel. Um, yeah, it's a dessert that uh, we launch now. So delicate, honestly, I almost yeah. don't want to break into it. Yeah, it's very light. You okay, see. okay. It tastes like Christmas. What is the sauce on the bottom? It's a vinaigrette mm -hmm. made out of mandarin. Mm. So basically, we bring the savory flavors okay. into a dessert. So I want to bring it back a little bit more local now. So obviously um, we gave you for the last two years uh, Restaurant of the Year at the Fact Awards. How, how does that feel? Obviously, not only to be named the best restaurant in Dubai. Um, yeah, how, how does that feel for you? I mean, uh, it's, especially two years in a row, to me it was like uh, extremely, uh, and it was a surprise, like literally. So um, I was very, very, very proud. And he came on the day that uh, was very needed, I would say. Okay. I think that um, Pines and, and uh, we walk towards uh, keep going in this way, we hope, because uh, that's the way we, we see it. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you so much, Jake. Thank you.